time to wake up. What is Gucci fam? Your boy Just J Sama's in the building, and today we are going to be talking about some Watch Dogs 2. Now, uh, if you guys are not familiar with the way things work around the world, there's this thing called Tokyo Game Show, all right? Which obviously takes place in Tokyo, of course, it takes place in Japan, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Watch Dogs 2 footage that has leaked from the Tokyo Game Show. Now, Ubisoft has not yet put up this video yet and I'm really surprised because I had to go through a couple of channels and find this shitty fucking looking oh my god just the quality anyway but that has nothing to do with the game the game looks dope like from this trailer I'm just like I, it makes me even more hype and what's cool about the Watch Dogs 2 trailers that have been coming out and a lot of like the marketing that they've been doing is it's they're definitely going with this uh, like hacker type of background to where everything's super hip and, and fucking cool. It's, it's just super slick. Like, I love it. The music has been amazing for all of these trailers and this trailer keeps that train going. So with this trailer, we get to see a lot of like Marcus's backstory. And what I mean by a lot is we get to see his interaction with why he, he's trying to do the things he's doing, why he's trying to join DeadSec, and you know, kind of the overall story arc of what the whole game is going to be. We get a little bit Bit more insight on how smart he is like this guy apparently is not somebody who's like just fell into hacking like mr uh aiden pierce um, but he's somebody who has developed the like um you know from a younger age and he was always interested in technology and he kind of built that passion and then became a hacker and then tried to join deadsec and you know it, it also shows his interaction with some of the deadsec members too my personal favorite wrench who i really hope gets his own dlc expansion that would be fucking amazing um he kind of interacts with these characters and you could tell like from the second they met they hit it off they're like we like you marcus we want you to join our group you know it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard battle to fight but you know hopefully you're ready for it and then we also get a little bit of insight as to like the game's overall story arc so what the story is going to begin and what this story is going to end with uh and it also shows you know um, the kind of counterbalance with the CTOS and, you know, all the other factions that are be supposed, you know, supposed to be within the game, uh, Prime 8, DeadSec, and I think there's two other ones, so this game is just filled with villains and all sorts of stuff. Speaking of villains, we actually get to see what I, I'm gonna speculate to be, uh, he's probably the main villain of the game because he created the CTOS, his name is, uh, douchebag von something or douche on oh, oh yeah it's douche on namek yeah douche on planet namek so <laughs> this guy he just looks so pretentious and you know i don't like the voice actor that they got for him i think they probably should have got somebody with a deeper voice but whatever i mean you know it looks it, it still looks kind of cool i don't like his character design with this big ass scruffy beard like that's that's this fad that's kind of going around right now and it's like he might as well have a man bun too which i'm sure at some point in the game he probably does but you know, it's his character design looks kind of whack, at least from one of the other characters. I, I forget what her name is. She's the leader of Prime 8. Whatever it is, I'll have to do a video on that. But she has, like, this cool tattoo on her arm, and, like, she her character design is really fucking good. So, you know, it's very vibrant. This guy is just plain straightforward, so he seems like somebody who would create the CTOS. So, you know, he looks like one of those kids that got bullied out on the schoolyard. He was like, watch, one day, Billy, I'm gonna make sure that your parents bank account is fucking empty man it's just i'm gonna show you buddy i'm gonna i'm gonna hack into your whole life or something i'm gonna turn your electricity off like he was just like he had no fucking comebacks like he he was that kid that always got roasted in the lunchroom and could not come back from anything but he wasn't exactly the school shooter type like <laughs> I should probably not joke about that, but whatever, we're gonna move on anyway. Um, and then, you know, it kinda uh, establishes his connection to Marcus and, and their relationship and how that dynamic works exactly. So, it's very interesting to see like how riled up Marcus has gotten, even, even though this trailer is very short. Obviously, the music helps rhythmically put the pace together and you actually get a lot of information in a very short amount of time. I will leave a link down in the description so you guys can watch the the video yourself and i'm sure ubisoft is eventually going to put it out some of these leaks are a little you know re 
ridiculous, they're a little crazy, but I'm just glad I got to see this. So, Watch Dogs 2 is definitely looking dope. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and make sure to check back in tomorrow. I'll have something brand new for you guys. This has been your boy Just Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon. Uh, 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 uh.